Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel and the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to the ZU Season Veterans and what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. And nope, that is the other channel. What we do around here is we bring about a uh, conversation about pro wrestling. Uh, this is the Superstars of Wrestling series, July 8th. 19 and 95 Jerry Lawler uh, basically waits for his vengeance against Bret Hart uh, to be kind of carried out in a long form fashion by Dr. Isaac Yankum that's the basic gist of this particular series of time in the WWF at the time uh, we also move forward into this particular edition and the Nature of Things. Uh, this is featuring an opening video package. Hyping the Smoking Guns versus Men on a Mission Main Event. Also including footage of the previous week. Henry Godwin and Adam Bomb. Match confrontation. Godwin slopping Bomb after the bout. Bomb then cuts a backstage promo in which he said he'd get his revenge on Godwin. When, with Godwin replying, featuring footage from the Raw match between Psycho Sid and Bam Bam Bigelow, where Henry Godwin cost Bigelow the match, including footage of the world champion Diesel, Lex Luger, David Boy Smith, and the 1 2 3 Kid, Aldo Montoya, uh, Savio Vega, and Dink, and others being part of the opening ceremonies for the Special Olympics the previous weekend. Bob Holly also pins Mike Bell 2 minutes 27 seconds. Uh, during the match, it's noted that Jack Tunney announced his retirement on Wednesday. And, of course, we then move into the Gorilla Monsoon era, which doesn't last all that long. He, I believe, leaves the post in uh, early 1996. Uh, transitional character writing anyway. Needless to say, um, Bob Holly with a couple of uh, shoulder tackles. Hip tosses and the like. Super basic match. Nothing necessarily worth writing home about. Holly also manages to get the uh, top rope maneuvers and uh, gets a crossbody and a couple more arm drags. Holly is using very basic maneuvers here. Spark plug Holly doesn't necessarily get over, but the eventual run does for Bob Holly. Inside cradle gets him the victory here. Very rare to see a guy win with a pinning combination at this point in the WWF. Then we go off to highlights of other things. Jean-Pierre Lafitte also in the ring upon return. And Jean-Pierre Lafitte uh, is brought to the ring by a guest ring announcer. Super basic stuff here as Lafitte uh, uh, hits a pretty basic uh, squash match. Nick Barbary, who is pronounced wrong. Uh, pronounced as Barbary, and uh, gets beaten in 2 minutes, 37 seconds. Uh, and ultimately, uh, big, you know, body slams and basic stuff along the way here. Uh, cannonball by Jean-Pierre Lafitte, still trying to put him over as a major guy at the time. Doesn't really go exactly the way they want it to go. Interesting match if you're... Uh, a follower of history up next, at least a little bit, as uh, Hakushi uh, has what may be his only match with young Jeff Hardy. Hardy, I believe, 16, 17 years old at the time, and Hakushi, who uh, has not turned babyface quite yet, although does in a pretty simple run here by the SummerSlam time frame. So within a couple of months, uh, uh, doing that there and... Uh, also hype for the upcoming In Your House. Uh, Sid and Diesel on top, along with, uh, and again, Diesel kind of promising that he's going to take care of the uh, problem that is Sid. I'm going to take care of my phone. We'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail right after this. And again, as we go forward, kind of the, uh, the Sid and Henry O'Godwin getting into issues at Raw. And the WWF Superstars uh, acknowledging the Special Olympics uh, for the World Games kind of there. I will say WWE has always done well with charitable contributions and everything associated with that. As mentioned earlier, the Jeff Hardy and Hakushi match is here. And to be fair, 
This is my favorite version of the Hardys when they are doing enhancement work. I did like their early, uh, let's say, 99 to, through 2001 stuff, but by 2002, 2003, honestly, the Hardys were old hat and uh, just kind of they've done they had done all they could do at least in my estimation. Anyway, so uh, Jeff Hardy hit the crossbody on Hakushi. Hakushi, the guy they're still pushing, although not nearly as uh, vehemently as they were even two or three months before at this point. Um, they seem to have lost faith in him relatively quickly. Um, and Jeff Hardy gets more offense than he honestly should have at the time. Uh, there's an up and over. Hakushi hits a savat kick, among other things. Moonsault to the outside. And uh, Hakushi is treated relatively well in terms of this match. I will say... A young teenage Jeff Hardy is willing to bump around for his adversary. Uh, almost a Vader-style splash from Hakushi and getting a victory here. Uh, and again, Hakushi gets the victory for what seems like the fourth or fifth time. We see the full Jeff Jarrett With My Baby Tonight video, which, honestly, I mean, the With My Baby Tonight video is decent enough uh, that it gets to a place of decent run. And for the most part... Um, you know, a uh, little bit more kind of a run there towards treating it like it's something that really, I guess you would say counted, although I don't even know that that's the right terminology. Anyway, the smoking guns against uh, the men on a mission is up next, and uh, the, the smoking guns still baby faces. Men on a mission, full-blown heels have been for a couple of months now. Uh, Billy Gunn in there with Mo, Mo doing the majority bumping around. Mabel having just won the King of the Ring a few weeks before, double Russian leg sweep on the uh, on Mo and Mo takes the majority of punishment. Mabel comes in, hits a couple of shots to the uh, midsection, and uh, a couple of groin shots, shoulder tackled by Mabel and Mabel getting things going in a positive direction there, and ultimately, um, you know, kind of hitting things around in a very basic run and uh, uh, hard shots there. And uh, belly to belly, actually over, kind of over the shoulder throw by Mabel and Mabel doing what he can where he can and ultimately managing to get things going in a positive direction there. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of, kind of getting things going in a good direction. Here, Irish Whip, big clothesline by Billy Gunn. Gunn cannot get Mabel off his feet and actually hits with about three or four clotheslines before a couple of drop kicks, and that goes pretty well there. Gunn goes to the top rope trying to get Mabel off his feet in a more discernible way. Big crossbody does finally take Mabel off his feet. Mabel doesn't stay there very long, though Mo comes in and tries to go right after him, and uh, double team by Mo and Mabel gets a victory for your new King of the Ring on his way to SummerSlam, although this has not been announced yet, eventually going on his way to SummerSlam against uh, Big Daddy Cool Diesel, which is a match that doesn't bode very well because I believe that was the match where Diesel got his back injured by Mabel uh, at the time. And again... You know, ultimately, there's Bam Bam Bigelow and the Hog Farmer, Jeff Jarrett and Shawn Michaels and the uh, Allied Powers and Yokozuna and Owen Hart at the In Your House pay-per-view in July. Of course, at this point, they had been doing the uh, monthly pay-per-views beginning in May, so uh, so long to the, you know, uh, quarterly pay-per-views as things should be done, and I say should be only because at the end of the day, the overindulgence on pay-per-view is a bit frustrating. Jerry Lawler is at a dentist's office with a child, basically promising that Dr. Isaac Yankum, what a clever pun of a name, is going to force the kid to open wide, and they have someone running out of the dentist office. We get our first shot at uh, Glenn Jacobs doing the nasty dentist character, and there we go. We will close with that. We'll be back with more right after this.